Okay, so one of the things I practice the most with this kind of music is um, subdivision. Subdivision just means um, breaking the measure and the beat down into its um, component parts. Okay, so um, that really gives you the rhythmic precision that you need to play this kind of music. Some people might think like, do I really need to subdivide? Is anybody really going to be able to tell? And the answer is yes, you really do. Because I can tell um, when I'm listening if my students are um, have been practicing with the subdivisions. I'm going to show you how to do this for each section of the piece. Um, I use Metronome. Um, this is a tunable app, which I like because it also has an awesome uh, tuner with a, a pitch drone. But you can use any metronome app for this. And you want to make sure that you um, set the tempo up here in the corner. And then you can also set um, the subdivision. Okay, So you want a metronome that lets you do that. OK, so this metronome tempo is 60 um, with a subdivision of 3. Um, that's going to give you quarter notes in 3-4. Uh, um, so here's a little bit of what that sounds like. Okay. If you want to speed it up a little bit, this is 68. If you're having trouble playing at that tempo, if you're not sure if you're totally with the metronome, you can slow it down to um, maybe around 52. So we're going to skip ahead now to the Piu Lento section. Um, that's our first tempo change. Uh, here's what it sounds like at 32 with the subdivision in 6. Here's what it sounds like at 32 with the subdivision in 3. And then I'll speed that up um, gradually, maybe a few clicks at a time, until I get to around 46. So tempo primo, that means um, just back to the original tempo. So I like to start somewhere around 40, um, and we'll put the subdivision on those eighth notes. Here's what that sounds like with the subdivision on three. And then here's what it sounds like up to tempo, dotted eighth equals 60. faster you start at the beginning, um, the faster you're going to have to play at this tempo primo. Just be aware that even though it's super easy at the beginning, there's like lots of half notes, um, it's not too tricky to play fast, um, you might want to hold back a little. If that was too fast for you, um, I would slow down at the beginning 
to around 52, 56, um, so that you can nail that tempo primo. Okay, so now we get to the slower section on the top of that second page, uh, second line down. And for this section, we're going to need to hear those 30-second note subdivision. If you notice, it's a dotted 16th, 30-second note rhythm um, through that whole section. I will shoot for around quarter note equals 64 to 72 for this section, which means that I'll start somewhere around 42 or even slower when I'm practicing. Super slow tempo. But when you put on a subdivision of eight to give you those 30 second notes, here's what that sounds like. So once you've done all that work with those 30 second note subdivisions, those rhythms should really pop. This is where you can really tell if you don't practice with the subdivisions because you'll start to hear some really lazy rhythms. Okay, we don't want that kind of swing uh, style. It approaches like a, a triplet kind of feel, okay? So practice with the subdivision that will give you um, that really precise pop in your rhythm. Here's the faster section, second to last section of the piece, and this is probably the hardest section. And the reason why is there's trick rhythm in there. Okay, so that very first rhythm you see, the eighth note, for 30 seconds, um, because there's a bunch of triplets that come after, people are going to tend to play that rhythm as if they're triplet subdivisions, okay? And that would sound like... Okay, if that sounds right to you, you need to relearn it, okay? Because the actual rhythm is... So to practice that, you want to hear that eighth note subdivision, okay? Because um, the, that first 30 second is going to start right on the second eighth note of, of the measure, okay? So here's what that sounds like at 72 with the subdivision on two. I would just loop that first beat a bunch of times um, to just get that in your head. You can practice slower if you're having trouble with that. Maybe 50, 60, somewhere around there. So the last section, presto. Um, you want this to be a little faster than the beginning, so it's a little more exciting. Uh, but not too fast, because that's going to push you outside of the presto range. So if you're practicing at um, dotted half equals 60 for the beginning, I would go around 62, 64. Um, for the end section. You could push it a little bit faster, but it's going to, again, start to get you outside of that presto range. I would definitely put a three subdivision on this to give you those quarter notes. You could even do six. If you want to hear the sixteenths, put your uh, metronome on 180 or more, and then add the subdivision of two or four, and that will give you eighth note and then sixteenths. Um, so here's 62 with a 3 subdivision. Okay, when you're just learning it, start quite a bit slower. Here's 40. I hope that was um, helpful. For more videos, um, check out the links down below. Um, more saxophone content is at maxschwimmer.com. And good luck with your audition. Don't forget to subdivide.